Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. In today's video is going to be a comparison of drugstore versus high-end products and the product that I chose is the translucent setting powders. I noticed that a lot more people are using uh, translucent setting powders to do all that stuff because it still gives you the set look, it still, you know, mattifies your face, stops it from getting greasy, but not adding color to your face. So the products that I chose to do today are the NYC Smooth Skin Loose Face Powder and the Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder. So all around we're going to see which one lasts longer, which one creases less, which one just in general looks better. It's 11 o'clock right now. I get back to the house around 4 so that'll be what like 5 hours of seeing kind of traveling, how oily I get, sweating, you know, <laughs> to the daily usual. So for the NYC, this is the one I've been using probably the last three months I want to say and this one costs I want to say around five bucks and then the Laura Mercier one I had a gift card to Sephora so in Canadian dollars it comes up to forty six dollars my heart hurts inside but it was a gift card so that's, that's good right so I think that is all of it so let's get right into the video Ooh, that is way too dark. Ooh. Great, time to put it to the test. I'm gonna do the NYC on this side and then do the Laura Mercier on this side. But we'll go ahead and just do the rest of the face. We're going to be a little reckless. Let's try this one. Let's try this one. Oh, shit. Oh my god, that's so... Yeah, <laughs> never doing that again. I'm back! Come here. Come here. Hey. He's like, enough Caroline! And I asked a couple of the girls I was with about what side do they think looks better. One girl said that this side looks better, which is the NYC, and then the other one said that this side looks better, which is the Laura Mercier. For my opinion, they both creased on me, because what does it crease? Both sides kept it pretty matte. Um, this side is le is more matte though. Like this side is a little bit more greasier. Both sides are greasy because I'm just a greasy human being, I guess. High end one did make all my makeup look better on this side. They still both crease and they still my face still got greasy. Not as greasy as it normally does. I feel like they both did the same job. So if you're getting if you're new into makeup and you're trying to broaden, you know into different products I would definitely recommend just going with a drugstore product for right now and then maybe when your collection gets a little bit better and you want to start trying different um, brands of different products definitely I would try out this one sorry this kind of test was kind of inc inconclusive but you know it depends on how much you want to spend on your on your makeup all right guys that's the end of the video thank you for watching if you liked it make sure you give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel also, um, if you're interested in these kind of comparison videos, I'm thinking about doing 
some eyebrow products in the future, so keep 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 your eyes out for that video, you know? So thank you for watching again, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye. Okay, let's Ah! Dang it! Spilt it again. <coughs> Woo! Shit! Let's, let's zoom you in. Let's zoom you in. Am I pretty yet? Am I pretty? Let's get that in my hair. Oh, touch it. Touch it, dog. The camera turns on, I get ten times weirder. I'm already kind of a weird person, but... Um, I'll definitely... Mascara is good, right? I think that's it for the the video. We're jumping the gun, Caroline. This is Floor. Oof! Did I just make you burp? All right, yeah. <laughs>